good everybody Cyrus back with another video how's it going um, I'm about to be on my way right now to AG and Motorsports to go get my downpipe and front pipe installed on my type R as well as do some dyno pulls and see what power we're making with all the bolt-ons I have on it right now so I'm pretty excited I want to get right into this video I kind of actually forgot to uh, ask them if I could record at their place when I dropped off the type R last night so they can go ahead and start soaking the uh, downpipe bolts and PB blaster because if anyone who has um, installed a downpipe before on the type R they know there's a good chance that those bolts will break off so I don't have the type R with me I dropped it off last night and we're gonna be taking the EK down over there to um, AGN and we're gonna go see what's up uh, hopefully they let me record um, if not I'll just tell you guys about the install and then um, I'm pretty sure they'll let me record the dyno pulls though. So stay tuned for that and um, let's get into this video. Single cam cold starts are so loud. I feel like single cam cars are loud as hell in general. Especially with the exhaust setup I have on here right now. But yeah, you're probably wondering why am I not taking the uh, fit? Well, the fit, the windshield wipers are ass and it's raining right now. So I just want it to be safe. And I trust the EK. <laughs> Alright, so they're just letting my bolts soak in a little bit, and then they're going to get back to it. Then hopefully we'll get to the dyno soon. Um, I was talking to the guy who owns this Blue Civic yesterday. He said it makes about 180. Pretty cool guy. Moments later. Alright, we're back. My bad. I had to run home real quick to uh, get something to eat, as well as send some stuff in for this job. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I forgot my mask. Yeah, like I was saying, uh... Uh, I had to come home, get something to eat, and uh, send something out for this job that I'm trying to get. Contrary to what people think, people think uh, I'm super rich or something because I uh, I paid off all three of my cars. The Type R, the Honda Fit, and the uh, EK. So, yeah, a lot of people think that uh, I'm super rich or something. I'm really not at all. So. I told everyone exactly already how I uh, was able to uh, pay off the Type R. If you don't know, you can go back and say it again but um yeah you know I'm a normal ass dude like everybody else out here you know uh, I'm a social worker and um, if you know anything about social workers you know they get paid less than teachers so the money that I do make I'm able to put towards car parts and not uh, towards payments thank God but um yeah I'm trying to hurry up and get back and check out how far they've gotten on the type R then at that point we can hopefully throw it on the dyno and uh, I kind of want to show you guys this Integra Type R they have sitting in there it is really clean so see you guys when we get to the shop all right up in the air doing a good ass job so kill it yeah that's the Integra I was talking about clean super clean Integra Type R all right. Taking gap appointments now. Sign up at SeriousMedia.com. Make your appointment.
man, they did a great ass job. I think right now he's gonna go ahead and put under the uh, under tray. And yeah, they went ahead, wrapped the downpipe, they put on the uh, turbo blanket on the turbo, deleted the heat shield. Dude, just a great job. I'm so happy. Moments later. All right, it is done. Downpipe, front pipe, PRL. Sounds so good. We got Kino over there too. I'm gonna have to take Kino home and then Uber back, but yes. Oh, they did a good job on it too. So happy. Now we're about to go ahead and put it on the dyno. He's just gonna move a car right now, and then um, we're gonna throw it on the dyno and see what we can get out of it. This is the first time I've had both these cars out in the same place together. I'm really happy. But uh, next time you guys see, well, next thing you guys see, we'll see, is the uh, car heading on the dyno. Yes, sir. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> oh my God. Time to pull her in. To the dyno we go, baby! Yes, my back right tail light is out. I'll explain that to y'all later. That's why you haven't seen a video on these tail lights yet. Three twenty one. Okay. okay, sounds good. Second. He said he's gonna let it cool down. Then we'll do another. Woo! Steaming. Oh, my battery's about to die. Switch to my phone real quick. Alright, yeah, so I actually brought another battery, thank God. So I don't have to use my phone, but yeah. You see that? 321 on the first one, 318 on the second. Just waiting for it to cool down a little bit, and then we'll do two more pulls. 
Look who showed up. Came to check the last two dyno pulls. Just went for the cooldown still. Alright, getting ready for number three. Three nineteen, three nineteen. Three nineteen and then three thirteen. Yeah. The heat soak, yeah. That's about right though with the mods that I have on, right? Say what? I said that's about right for the mods that I have. It's not bad. It can be, it can be better. It could be better. Yeah. Probably just need. What mod do you have right now? Uh, intake, uh, intercooler. Down pipe, front pipe, and exhaust. Should we make you way more? Should we make it way more? So you think it's a part of the tune? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's the tune. You be making way more because we don't want. Uh huh. Should we make it at least three forty three? That's what I was thinking, like three forty, three fifty. Yeah, you can get two. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anything, I'll just come back to you sometime and then I'll just like have you like play with it or something. Yeah, yeah I see that. What I do, let me go first to you. Okay. This way from Honda. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I'm running K Tune, so. Yeah, Honda. I'm about to switch to Honda. Considering it. Oh, okay. Got you. Dang. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 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 Wow. Yeah. That one feel like bad. Uh huh. <laughs> we made around three forty something. Man, that car used to feel like very, very good. Got you. Right there, that guy used to feel real good. Got you, got you, got you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm going to bring it back to you for sure. It's pretty soon here, so.
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, before I close out the video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit. But first of all, I want to let you guys hear the downpipe and the front pipe outside. Um, yeah. Oof. Looks like I'm turning the car on. Alright, so this is with my Remus exhaust fully open. It's not too noticeable. Turn the camera around. It sounds really good. It's not too noticeable when it's idling, but you can tell. Give it a couple revs. No Uzi. You will not get me copy or striked. Alright, let's do it. I'm still trying to give it all these codes and press the reset, but here we go. Yeah. Alright, let me turn this off before I piss my neighbors off. Cool. But yeah, so that's the front pipe and that's the down pipe install for the video. And we gave you guys some dyno pulls. Uh, the highest we hit was 321. Uh, after that, everything was 319, 318, and 313. So with that being said, um, I need a tune. I need a tune bad. Uh, like he was saying, I don't know if I recorded it, but like he was saying, I should be hitting like 340, 350 minimum. So that means I desperately need a tune. So we're gonna get on that ASAP. We'll probably try and get a tune within the next month or so. Um, and also, I might be switching to Hondata, and I might try to see what my power is like on Hondata before I even tune it, and then we'll go and tune it. Because um, he said that he's tuned a Type R up to 395, but that was with a little bit of E85 in it. But regardless, I still should be hitting with my mods, 350 minimum. So my goal, well, my, we're not gonna talk about that. So my goal is to hit 400, just to touch 400, but I'll be content with a minimum of 350, 360. That's like the level of uh, horsepower I'll be content with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope it was a good one. I know it wasn't me installing the parts, but hey, I don't think it really matters as long as I'm providing you guys with good content and you guys are enjoying the videos. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Thank you.